This is a really good concept that will apply to more than just what the student is asking. So pay attention. I've just finished module four. Hallelujah. And I love your celebration of that. And the example of Catherine Post's IG hit bullseye here. I wonder what could I do to not only respect my boundaries, but apply and respect them before I hit a wall. Rending my boundary is quite flexible, even if I want them to be firm and non-negotiable. Also, people tend to not listen to me and cut me off while speaking. I do speak up more now and verbalize that it hurts me, but I would like to get rid of that kind of situation. Okay. So what the concept that I want to share here that will revolutionize just about every single pattern in your life. So this, this applies to this question, but also applies to so much more. In a session with Dr. John Connolly, uh, he mentioned to me how, and this had to do with like eating and just eating too quickly. I think I probably talked about this before. He was talking about how unconscious mind, we have trained our unconscious mind to gain awareness when it's too late because we often punish it for gaining awareness too late. We need to train our unconscious mind to gain awareness before the boundary for in this example is even crossed or about to be crossed. Very often it's like after the fact that something happens, we look back in retrospect and everything is clear in hindsight, right? Hindsight is 2020. And we're like, God damn, like, why did I do that? Should have done this. I should have done that. And of course, module six will help you reframe with should and should not that energy of I shouldn't have, I should have, whatever, whatever. And so how you train your unconscious mind is every time there's a pattern in your life and you notice it, even if it's after the fact, even when it's you think it's a little too late or you're like straight up in the middle of it or you let that pattern happen again and oh my God, how could I? You want to celebrate it. You want to say, yes, oh my God, I noticed it. Thank God I noticed it. Like, thank you awareness for noticing it. And then your unconscious goes, huh, that's important to her or him or them. Like that's that's an important thing. Okay. And then the next time, when you're, for example, in the boundaries question, when you're about to have someone cross your boundaries and you haven't applied them like you should have, right? Or you wanted to, or you intended to, your unconscious will help you notice the signs earlier and earlier and earlier. This also applies to money. Like anyone who has unconscious spending, like I just, I realized that I overspent after the fact that it happened because they're punishing their unconscious mind. It's like, you didn't notice, you didn't notice. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And instead you go, huh, I overspent. Oh my God, I recognize that I overspent. Thank you. Oh my God, yes, 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 yes. And the more that you say yes and celebrate it, the word yes means something to the unconscious, by the way, which is why in RRT, a lot of the things, a lot of my one-on-one coaching sessions with John, he has me say yes to a lot of things. Just yes, 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 yes. And so when you tell your unconscious mind, yes, and you notice a pattern earlier, then guess what? You'll start to notice red flags earlier, or you'll start to notice a pattern earlier. And then the goal is to have awareness before it happens so that you can make a different decision. And the only way to do that is to train your unconscious mind to gain awareness before you hit the wall or stuck to the wall or whatever the phrase is, because then you make a different decision. And when you make a different decision, it's emotion, repetition, and action that rewires the unconscious mind. So the unconscious mind is connected to the limbic brain, the reptilian limbic brain, the nervous system and emotion, right? And so it's through emotion, through repetition. Repetition, why? Because patterns, habits, All those things are a part of the unconscious mind. And then action means that what you want to shift, what you want to rewire, you are serious about. You mean it. Like, I mean it. I'm changing this. And you're creating a new neural network by taking action. And so as you are about to get to that action spot of you taking an action, you want to make sure you have the awareness. 
so that you can make a different decision. And the moment you make a different decision, like I really like that you say, I do speak up more now and verbalize that it hurts me. That's a new action that I bet you didn't take before. And I want you to keep that up because the more that you keep that up, the more it becomes a pattern for you, a good pattern for you to have. I know for me, pregnancy really brought up my most direct self. And I, 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 I thank my hormones for this. It didn't come from a conscious decision. It came from a hormonal change in my body, from mama bear instincts, right? And because I had 10 months of these mama bear instincts, you know, in my body, like through pregnancy, and then of course, becoming a mom, it just takes it to the next level that I was able to rewire my unconscious to be more direct, stop beating around the bush, be more direct because I had so much time practicing it. It's almost like a fake it till you make it kind of energy. It's like you're being that self through your hormones and then it allows you to play it out in real life. And once you play it out in real life, it's like now, oh my God, when I don't like something, I say it. I literally say it. There's no more people pleaser inside of me. Of course, I did a lot of work with um, RRT with this to really fine tune it. But I just remember as soon as I was pregnant, like, I don't like it. It's too cold. This, this, nope. Can we sit at a different table? And what I had to train myself is to rewire the concept, the meaning that this means that I'm a bitch, right? Because, oh my God, how, you know, God forbid they think I'm a mean person. And of course I always approach with respect and kindness, but I will, I will tell people, I'm like, I don't like this table. Can we sit on another one? Like at a restaurant or I, you know, I don't love the way that this looks. Can I have something else? Or can you shift this? Can you change this? Blah, 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 blah. And it's just so powerful. 